Take live now to outside uh, the Cape Town City Hall, which was Parliament uh, this afternoon. Kevin Brunt uh, getting some more reaction. Good afternoon again, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Very good Can afternoon you to you, Dan. The line is uh, very unclear, but I have with me here the Home Affairs Minister, Erin Motswaledi. Minister Motswaledi, thank you so much for speaking to us. Just following the vote that Parliament just endorsed here in the House, on the back of that, any sentiments from your side, sir? Well, it shows that our democracy is working, and it shows that parties can work together for the good uh, of the country, because you are aware that this vote needed. 60% uh, of the vote, and the fact that 60% was exceeded because there's no single one party that has got that 60% shows that parties were actually working together. There was a bit, you know, things got off on a rocky start earlier on um, the proceedings. Uh, just your view on some of the sentiments coming from the opposition party in particular, saying that the Speaker of the National Assembly, for one, is not impartial. Ah, well, look, that's opposition is opposition, I'm sure. <laughs> what did you expect? Opposition say anything they want just to distract. I mean, that's to be expected. Going forward, Mr. Motswaledi, um, just the Office of the Public Protector and its, its, its stance within South Africa, the discourse, uh, the public of South Africa, should they still believe in that entity, seeing that it's now become somewhat of a, of a bit of a sticky situation there, sir? Well... I'm sure you are aware that this office is very important for constitutional democracy. It's a Chapter 9 institution, and it has always been doing its work. In the early days of democracy, people did not know about it. But ever since Advocate Tulima Tonzala came in, it became known. From there, there were problems, of course, which the very same parliament has solved with a vote. Now we're starting again from the scratch, and we can only hope for the best. Thank you so much for your time, Minister. Appreciate it. Dan, here towards my left, you can still see uh, members of Parliament still making their way out of the chamber. There are a lot of them still on the inside. And as we've heard also from the parties inside the chamber earlier on today, first of all from Sarat Kaba, he indicated um, backing, obviously, the endorsement, um, cautioning against the court of public opinion, uh, saying that the uh, uh, acting public protector, Koleka uh, Ngaleka, is decisive, that she does not succumb to pressure. We've obviously then also heard the views coming from Glennis Breitenbach that you referred to on earlier there. And then the vote now in 244 um, in favor of that endorsement from the ad hoc committee in parliament and 12 voting against um, that endorsement. So it paves obviously the way for President Cyril Ramaphosa to now officially appoint Advocate Kuleka Ngaleka as the country's public protector then. But we will obviously bring you some more reaction as the MPs make their way out of the chamber here at the City Hall. Thank you very much, uh, Kevin Brandt there. And we'll get back to him a little bit later. There is another story that